I'm sitting here in Lady of Uncreation, which uh, the eagle-eyed among you may notice no longer has Tycho launchers on the front because she's now equipped with four Ares launchers because I watched a single PT boat knock down 12 Tycho torpedoes by itself and decided that I wanted better torpedoes. So. We all deserve better torpedoes. We do deserve better torpedoes. Kander's been dispensing some torpedoes recently. Mm-hmm. Some, uh, some pirates that have been known to seal club from time to time. Notice that his, uh, his ship was the, uh, Pelican Freighter, Super Freighter, something like that. And, uh, well, they just couldn't say no. But once you, uh, once you open that can, you can't put it back, unfortunately. And so now they're down, probably down a ship. We don't have a, conf a confirmed kill, but a probable, uh, probable enough that I'm willing to paint it on the hull of, uh, of Oleander. <laughs> like, more probable than most World War II aircraft kills, so. Yeah. There's definitely a, uh, a constant speed debris cloud. Command a big red X for each mark. <laughs> That's no power, no power. Let's flip around for decel burn. Flying at the base at 1.6 kilometers a second. Maybe not the best for the base's health. Mine, I happen to be near the docking port. Oh, you're going to catch me? <laughs> I would hope not. When I get there, I will unhang her what I've done with Josh's gift and we can probably finish sprucing it up because I got the pot at the base and I got a stem and some leaves but I didn't finish the leaves and uh, if you folks would be so kind as to help me with uh, not leafing it unfinished um, I think that would be a good way to start things off and then I don't know if we, we take, it on a, take it on a tour or just show it off on stream yeah, we were given a, basically a mobile chapel to Josh by one Kilroy of Laconia. Mm -hmm. Apparently, even though they're a horrendous fascist Welcome dictatorship, to the banana band. they still do lip service to freedom of religion. So, at least when the people practicing a religion are useful to them. So, we do, we do shoot up some GOCN people every once in a while. Well, Rush does. I did too. Rush did it first. I can't. I can't take that from her. Yeah, I've already first. put the big red X on my ship. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, this is gift to Josh. The Laconians gave it to us, and they gave us this part on top. Everything that's blue, they built. The green, this beam stuff, that was them too. I recolored that. Um, it comes with uh, crazy magic Laconian technology. There's oxygen in here. There's no oxygen out here. Oxygen in here. Actually, no, there's, the envelope seems to go out to here, too. Oh, no, there it's gone. Not sure what that's about. I don't know if that's just no. this door. I'm wondering if this this particular door is broken. Because I almost never use this one. This is the half block door. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I've had some issues with that too. But we have a baby, a baby bush with the eyeballs. And I kind of like it small. If you weld it up, it'll grow, and then you grind it down, it goes down. And they just used it as a build Welcome states, which is really band. clever for the mod author. This is a little, little. T Chapel to Josh, which I think is great. But you can see that I've been busy uh, building leaves and things. Don't think I welded them up yet, but I welcome any additional greeble thoughts. Is this armed or does it just have a light arm? Uh, it's got a. I put four flax on the back just because I feel like it might catch some torpedoes thrown Flank. at it at some point. Defensive armament only. 
Uh, I will probably put a LiDAR on it somewhere. I'm going to wait for you to stop moving before I jump off. Yep, I have stopped moving. The cockpit, in case you're wondering, is in the base of the pot. I was very proud of the of making the the base of the ship, the drive section, a pot. <laughs> As it should be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, I found the welder. It's on. I must have left that on from my earlier shenanigans. I mean, the grav siphon was definitely on when I... Mmm, I... that doesn't sound like me. No, no, definitely not. Definitely doesn't sound like me at all. Nope. Couldn't have nope, been. Nope, nope, yeah. nope. Some other person going by DE. So I don't know, what do we think? What, what else would go well here? I think we gotta work on some illumination. Ah, yes, yes. Probably from the base up, yeah? I think so. Alright. Get some spotlights going. Okay, we wanna go there. Ooh, the light box works pretty well. The light box? Your health is low. I don't know which one. It's a weird name for what it is. Oh, weird. That mm -hmm. that looks amazing, though. Hmm. Uh, should I make it green or just leave it bright white? Yeah, I like the white. Yeah, I think the white looks pretty good for illuminating the outer parts. Yeah. Uh, I advise against putting any lights on top of a drive itself, as it will probably launch the thing into FSD right away. From past experience. Uh, I don't suppose we have 33 million floating around between us. Um, I have 417 I will put in right now. Thank y'all. I've already done my supporters today, unfortunately. I don't know uh, how well it would go, but you could add a couple of white streaks to the leaves to make variegated. Uh, the way I've made the leaves, I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, nah, well. nah, they'd have to be bigger. Yeah, and I, I made one and went, I don't want to make these any bigger. These are really annoying. This is also one of the only patterns that applies well to the panels. There we go, it's pretty silly. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay. I like the lighting. Hmm. I'm thinking of uh, moving the door over one block so we can center that light. Yeah, that'd be good for symmetry. Okay. That looks better. Uh, looks like we have to have a block there. Yeah, of course. There we go. And then let me put the dirt in here. The panel. Is it? Mm. 
There we go. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I think I like the narrow ones better. Yeah, a little less busy. Oh, there we go. Does it need some searchlights too? Found a hole. Maybe just one up top? Maybe. Or maybe one on top of. Oh no, there are lights up there already. Help low. The navigation lights up there. I tried my best to not uh, change the actual chapel at all. And I love what they did. They put like straight up grow lights in here up top. <laughs> it's great. I'm gonna change one leaf to the disco. Let me know what you think. Okay. Ooh, that does look nice. Should we go all the way down the branch or just leave the leaves like that? I keep them different from the branch itself. Okay. So it's not just yeah. bam, bliss, uh, disco everywhere. Three more tiers of leaves off hinges to give us flowing in the space <laughs> wind appearance. I think people will just torpedo us because they saw hinges, though. That is a lot more impressive than it should be. <laughs> We need the googly eyes somewhere. Uh, are there are there eyes? Uh, we can do LCDs with an image, maybe. I know there's a mod for that, but yeah, I don't think it's on this one. Well, I mean, hmm. Uh, is there any money left floating around? Did you spend it all in one place? Maybe. Um, let me see if there are any packages left over here. I think I took all the ones from there. Yeah, there's nothing here. How much more do you need? I need 30... Well, wow. let me recalculate because we've just had a um, thingy cough payout. Yeah. Oh, those actually work really well as the eyes. Maybe... Uh, yeah. Once I weld them up, they'll have a little bit of chrome around them. I need 28 million. <laughs> oh, one's, one's kind of... Skewampus. Let me do a bit of a deposit here. I wonder if we can do something different for the pupil. Um, I... Let me try something. I gotta go get some components. I'm going to do a quick, uh... Support us. Oh, Rush getting the money. You know, it looks okay with the light off. Yeah, hang on. Nope. No space. How's that look? A little bit buggish, but it works. Uh, is there another light we can use that might look work better? Yeah, sound block. If you want to deal with the yellow ring on it. Hmm. If we don't, if we don't weld up the sound block, it actually looks really good. Let's do sound blocks. There we go. There we go. That's a bit frightening from the side, but hey, it works. Where are these eyes? Oh, they're over on the. They're on the side of the car, the upper car container facing the welder wall. You're yeah, my you welder wall. Oh yes, I love the brow. This is this is this is yes. 
Absolutely. Some cursed veggie tail stuff going on here. <laughs> yeah. You mean perfect. All right. I think we have we have a mobile chapel here. It's a thing, all right. It is a thing. Uh, <laughs> An armed mobile chapel. Very lightly armed. Defensive only. Yeah, but we're still pretty close to uh, having made a, a 40k build. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Well, if we need to get money... Um, and we need it fast. I guess run out in... One of the packets? Oh, my packet ship is here. Uh, I can spawn in um, Red Kibble. Uh, I don't is, know where she is. but Is that at Awaha? Maybe? Maybe? At the very least, um, Red Kibble has a stabilizer. I don't know if you... I do on mine, yeah. Okay. But if Red Kibble is closer... Uh, did you find out that I left the welder on there, BD? Yes. It's finishing up some blocks around the base. Oh, it's Red Kibble's here too. Ah. Oh well. Does wait, does Harbinger have a have a stabilizer? I don't think so. Alright. Also Harbinger is out there out Well that's that's what I was thinking, because I then ah. I could bring it all back. And then you've got it all back. Also Harbinger's currently hanged. Oh, right, because Scarlet. Scarlet, this is all your fault. <laughs> Usually is. Warp drive! Not quite. I love how fast these little packet ships are. Oh, this is going fast. Oh, really fast. Oh, wow. I made it uh, to within four kilometers of the point. Well, that could be interesting. Uh, yep. Yeah. Because because when you transfer it, it there's a few seconds before it goes across, right? Mm-hmm. I have noticed that just diving through, you get a little bit of a an extra boost. You get an extra fifteen-ish kilometers. Nice. I have to remember that. So just dive into the slow zones. Yeah, Death, we're doing a little bit of cargo running because Canner didn't bring enough change in his wallet. Mm-hmm. So we're going to just have oh, a few our, refreshes at Tyco. Mm-hmm. Our capacity for murder exceeds our ability to make money. Mm. Canner did do some lovely murdering yesterday. And it wasn't even like, uh, it wasn't even people who were innocent or anything. They actually deserved the murdering. Exactly. There was a, an individual uh, who was attacked yesterday. Uh, was they? There was a ransom for 500 mil, and they didn't have it. And they're like, I mean, I don't have that. I can give you ore or something. And the person just started firing. Destroyed his ship. And uh, I was close-ish. I saw the, the drive sigs happen, but I was in the hand of Josh. So I mentioned it. And as soon as I mentioned that uh, the Shadow of an Hour, which is Ghost and Darth, Sith, Bubble Tea or whatever, and then uh, Dala Cruz or something. Uh, Similar. Like that. Yeah, they uh, they all they're they call themselves pirates, but they really mean is they just like to grief people. They like to blow people up for zero reason. Which I mean, you know, it's a PvP server, so whatever. Did you already recount the, the battle itself while I was gone? Uh, no, no, I didn't. So, uh, basically, I, I call out, and, and Kander's like, I'm logging in. <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, I went and got Sword of Josh, but wasn't fast enough. Uh, I scared everybody in series, lighting off my drives at max, like, 310 kilometer. I know, it's adorable. Um, drive sig blasting as hard as I could out of DX2 because that's just where Sword of Josh was uh, and by the time I got out there 
well, Kander, uh, if you want to recount, uh, since you did the you did the shooting, so. Well, I I got to the uh, to I, I informed the Rainier Tycho. I got to uh, the, the Tycho turn, um, and noticed they they changed instances. And I was like, oh well, I've missed them. I'll just sort of go backwards and forwards a bit, but you know, I'm I'm sure uh, I'm sure they've already gone. Then I see this uh, SHW coming from uh, drive stick coming from within the inner system. I thought, ooh, bingo. Um, it, it sort of over almost overshot me. Um, I had changed uh, my transponder to uh, Pelican Freighter, uh, and that seemed to do the trick. Because Delicious target. They, yeah, they they overshot and came back. Um, and then I think probably about the, about the point that the first wave of torpedoes hit them, they realised they had made some kind of <laughs> grievous mistake in their life choices. <laughs> um, but they managed to break away, um, and I I could tell by the by the speed they went to FSD. So I turned on my, my FSD and overtook them and dropped out in front of them, which I discovered actually forces other people out of F- FSD. Really. Yes, if if they're hostile to you. Um, so yeah. So oh yeah, because keep... if it's if you're you can't light your FSD with somebody within 50, 25 kilometers. Mm-hmm. Of you. Oh, look at that. I, I yeah. So you can you, you can interdict people. Um, so yeah, kept on. I was fighting one, then at some point a second showed up. So I was fighting. I was doing a two v one. Um, but I was trying to focus, I kept on throwing torpedoes at the second one, but I was mostly trying to focus on killing one. Uh, yeah, it was all a lot of dancing about at, like, let's say, two kilometers per second pretty much constantly. Um, then they, they managed to get to FSD, but I, I chased them down. That pursuit was hard at that time because they I managed to kill the beacon. Oh, so you are trying to find them based solely off of radar? Uh... And, and their last bearing, and I managed to do that. And at some point, they dropped out of FSD, and I should get one more salvo of torpedo, reverse my course, and then as I flew back, that's when I saw the big debris cloud. I didn't see chunks had fallen off before then, um, but yeah, there was a there was a big debris cloud, lots of white uh, boxes on radar, um, and yeah. So I'm I'm pretty sure that may have been a kill, but without being able to hundred percent confirm, I don't know. Yeah, and they how didn't bother to tell you. Yeah, because they're no fun. They only have fun when they're doing the killing of defenseless targets. Mm-hmm. Not today. I am almost a Tycho. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fast. I love it. What is this misspelling of Sage? Is that are they just trying to say sad and then they added more letters? Is that what that is? It's sad. It's uh, you know the the Discord emojis how they have different names, actual names to them. It's one of those. It's some sad G E oh. goofy thing. Well, I'm over here like get off my lawn is what it makes me think. So I guess I'm just old. That's it. No, it's the children who are wrong. Yes. Every time. Alright, let's see how horrendously this goes this time. I'm hoping that I can just torpedo the little stupid PT boats now. Streaming? Just before we get to 200, of course. One medium... I have Please be, No, there's two ships there. A Caracal so and two P- PTs. Uh. Oh, close. Oh, hello, torpedoes. Yep. Goodbye, torpedoes. This is the first time I've actually seen them with the radar on. Uh, on your screen, did I shoot all of them down, or did one hit on your screen, too? Yeah, there was a phantom. 
I'm gonna try something. See if those hit. They're sending some friends back our way. Oh, it's okay. I'm not worried about those friends. I didn't hit with four torpedoes either. Torpedoes away. They shot all of them down again. I feel like they didn't used to be this good at shooting stuff down. So you know how all the PDCs are like Gatling guns that spin up and spin down? Yeah. They might have been spinning down and back up between every target. And now they stay spun uh, up. So PDCs are much better now. You're welcome. <laughs> You know, thinking on it, that spin up, spin down thing shouldn't have affected projectile targeting. I'll have to look into it more. I'm gonna let that reload and see if a full salvo will get through. Uh, do you have sources forcing torpedoes into them? No. And then, are they definitely firing full salvos? Uh, I'm about to find out. Well, no, because they're all... They're off my map now. Let's start shoving. go this way and hopefully something new spawns I just want to see if uh, a full salvo of 12 will get through because if 12 doesn't get through two inner PDCs I think that's a problem and they either need to adjust torpedo speed or HP I don't know it's all it's all balanced stuff and it's tricky yeah I shot him a message so I know I had done all the testing based on block retrigger times a uh, shadow cast you can land on earth and Mars in a suit only because as soon as you enter the atmosphere it uh, removes your ship it's the expanse. We're in the expanse of space. We're not we're not landing on planets. You can land on the moon. No, there's nothing on Earth or Mars. One of our allies is asking if they can join us, I'm letting them know I'm in Earth space. Target rich environment, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Your launches are full, you got 30 more in storage. Yep. Thank you. I just want to see if 12 will get through a PT boat.
And this is why we don't do a whole lot of inner hunting on stream. Uh, it's very much... Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. And then... Hurry up and light. And then brief instances of just screaming sheer terror. Not in candor shit, but mine. Mine's a lot squishier. No, no, it happens in candor ship too, just much more slowly. Yes. <laughs> oh, streaming. What we got? Medium drive. Two medium drive signatures. Come on, be dual crackles. Please be dual crackles. Beating. Excellent. Beating. Question. Yes. Do you know what would happen if, I don't know, for instance, Ooh. I were to throw this, uh, this rock hopper into the instance that is currently down. It will bounce back at you. It'll bounce back. Okay. Yes, it will get. Okay. A force no no feeding the ring entities then. Yeah, I mean you can play um, kind of like a weird version of curling with it. Oof, Try and bounce nah. off the edge, get it back to psycho. I'm very glad these are all phantom torpedoes. Yeah, put on just, to check on that. I'm just stuck in DX4 until DX2 comes back up. Splat. People were always telling us, like, oh, don't use OPA PDCs. They're not very good. I'm like, are you sure about that? <laughs> they seem pretty awesome to me. What was well, that? Uh, okay. I was like, they're, they're a step up, they're a massive step up from flags, but they, they fall into this weird middle ground where you don't want to keep on using them once you have access to inner tech because they could be railguns. Sure. They have a, these guys have an interesting attack pattern. They like get close and then go, no, never mind. Oh no, that one's that one's slowing way down. I may have nailed him. Uh you wanna drop a GPS? Got it. Thank you. I'm trying to turn around. It's interesting that our clients agree so much on the torpedoes that are phantom yeah. ones. Maybe it's just because we're both running high-end AMD systems. So it just yeah, works I mean, clearly, better. Yeah, clearly they're, they're outrunning the uh, capability of the server. Am I mostly going in the right direction? Uh... Straight towards Earth. About 14 kilometers from where I took the other GPS. Oh, I see the other one on the radar. It stopped. Oh, yeah. That one looks like it's stopping. Okay, rail gun off, switching to power. And they both stopped. Yeah, I think they're both dead. Okay, just gotta no nuke the power on both of them. This one's closer. I'm gonna close to under six. Okay, I'll lock this position in case we slip out of range. Of Already dead. Oh, 
Hopefully we're close enough to where we don't have a spawn timer issue. Shadowcast, we don't know what's with the torps and the ghosting. And yes, under 120 we get, uh, they call it a cruiser, but a Leonidas is actually a battleship. An ugly battleship. Very ugly. Ugly, but it does have a certain charm to it. Yeah. It, it's character f characterfully ugly. Are you obligated to say that because of where you're from? No. Railgun going off. This is in contrast to the uh, the Nelson class, which is just perfect and flawless. Oh my gosh, the giant <laughs> floating shoe. <laughs> Flowing backwards at 20 meters a second now. But I'm still detecting power. Well, the relative is 20. Right, but I'm I'm going to it. Yep. Uh, or no, it's going at 6.2 meters a second. No power. There we go. I see one PDC at least. Unclear if... Oh, it might have both torpedo launchers. Hard to tell. That'd be amazing if it had both. Uh, Caracals only have one torpedo launcher. Oh, okay. Hmm. Be amazing if it had both. Quite. I, it really would be amazing if it had to. You know, when you have poached egg on to toast for breakfast and you've got a uh, double yoker. Got it. Coasting to the other. I blew its its launcher off. That's amusing. About them four things are about to be grand. Oh, because it's behind us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna keep this speed if you want to set and start pulling stuff off And then I'll get us in position for the other one. I'll give you uh, ample warning before maneuvers Be Nice if all pilots did that Andrew. Well, I mean I haven't been great at it myself, so I Don't know what you mean Just to give the railgun arc on this other guy Okay there we go. Checking out cargo containers. Anything good? Working on them. Twenty-four lithium. There we go. That's not bad. That's the extent of the good stuff. Okay. Let me know when you're seated. Oh. I want to wait until I'm a little closer. Yeah, box says 8 out of 9. Yep. Medium drive yes. signature. Another crackle. Just one? Oh, there'll be more. It'll just be the delaying people. The Two PTs. Fast movers inbound. Balls. Yeah, they're probably torpedoes. Well, let's let's try this. Well, how far apart do they have to be to not have mutual defense? Uh, greater than 300 meters, ideally. Let's see if 12 can do it. Restocked. 12 cannot get through. I don't know why I have... Oh, no! No, that... I just didn't get a... It didn't say you were attacking UNN. It says no power on that now. So that's one down. 12 gets through. Alright, tubes are full and you got 8 in reserve. Reloading. No 
No power. He's dead. Okay, so interesting. Yeah, I get it. You are attacking UNN with a railgun, but not with a torpedo head. Which is interesting. Yeah, it's curious. Good hit again. Just trying to manage that closure rate. Oh, he's uh, ballistic at 330, at 350. Perfect. So we'll go get the other one. I don't feel like catching him. Yeah, at least you don't have to worry about him coming back. Yeah. Oh, we lost the launcher. Got everything else, though. Now, is it a good idea to respawn on Lady of Uncreation right now? Got it. And we are exiting the instance at low thrust. I'm going to say no. Feel free to begin salvage operations. Oh, go ahead and... You, you can go ahead and punch it. I'm clamped onto a ladder right now. Okay. And this is why I'll the wait. clamp's in the middle. I'll wait till you cross into DX7. <laughs> I am clinging for dear life to a fragment of a ladder inside of the ship. It's fine. I'm sure all this radiation around me is fine as well, right? Uh, I mean, the green type's okay. Green is good. Blue is bad. It's alliterative. That's how it works, right? Clearly. And max speed towing a ship. <laughs> it is good to note that the uh, the lateral torpedo launch seems to be very effective at spreading the PD. Because every time it impacted, the PD was pointing in multiple directions. So you kind of see it all fan out right as they impact. Yeah. So noted. Uh, transferring very soon. Hold on tight to the ladder. Hold it. Waiting for the ship to spawn in. There it is. I am hitting the brakes. All right, I think that's everything of value on this. And I'll throw it back to Earth. Return to sender. Yes. All right. Hucking. Yep. I'm just gonna back up. Oh, yay! Space engineers and things that are spinning. Hey, that was pretty good. That's very cinematic. Yeah. Alright. Well, folks, that's all she wrote. <laughs>